In this lecture, we're going to walk through some basic examples of some pre present value calculations for leases. Uh, these are just good guidelines and sort of provide a, a framework for doing any problems that you might face. Uh, the first thing you have to do whenever you do a present value calculation is you need to determine the implicit rate in the lease. And in order to do this, you really have to adopt the lessor's perspective and think about what are the economic flows from their perspective. Okay, so when you think about your TVM calculator, there are the five buttons that have laid across there on the screen. And so, of course, we're focused on the implicit rate, which would be a discount rate calculation. And so we have to use information from the problem to fill in the other four pieces of this puzzle and then calculate the discount rate or the implicit rate in the lease. After you've done that, the second step is to calculate the present value of the minimum lease payments. And now you have to switch from the lessor's perspective to the lessee's perspective. Thinking about the time value of money calculation, you can see again here that I highlight the present value calculation. And you would have already calculated the I slash Y from the prior step. And then you have to reevaluate the information for the other three pieces to make sure that you've adopted the lessee's perspective correctly. Okay, so uh, with this example, again, you read the information and you kind of go through the two steps in order to get the present value. And so in this case, we have a lease signed on January 1st, 2020. There are four semi-annual payments. There's a first payment that's due June 30th. Now, the nice thing is when you see June 30th uh, on a lease that's signed on January 1st, you know that the payments happen at the end of each period. That becomes important, especially as we do a second example here in a little bit. But we're given some information about the fair value of the asset when the lease is signed, some residual information. We're going to use that information to do our calculations. Again, the first step is to calculate the implicit rate in the lease. Again, our TVM framework, you can see that I've highlighted the I slash Y button because that's ultimately we're going to solve for. The N is four for four semi-annual periods. The present value um, from the lessor's perspective, they're giving up an asset that's worth $75,000 at the beginning of the lease. And so that's a negative economic flow from the lessor's perspective. And then they receive a positive cash payment of $20,000 each semi-annual period. So the payment is plus $20,000. And then they anticipate getting the asset back where they believe it's going to be worth $10,000. And so that, again, that's a positive economic flow from the lessor's perspective. So now we have all the information we need to solve for the discount rate or what's the implicit rate in the lease. In this case, the implicit rate is 7.21%. The second step then is to take that information and to calculate the present value of the minimum lease payments. Again, from the TVM framework, you can see that I've highlighted the PV because that is what we'll be solving for. From the prior uh, calculation, we know that our N is four and the I slash Y, which is the implicit rate in the lease is 7.21%. The payment is $20,000. You'll notice though that I've changed the sign to a negative sign because from the lessee's perspective, they're going to be making that payment rather than receiving that payment. And then notice that the future value, instead of being $10,000 is negative $6,000. And this is because the, the lessee has guaranteed that $6,000 residual value. They have not guarantee, guaranteed the entire 10,000. And so from the lessee's perspective, they're only obligated to the $6,000. So when we calculate the present value, we get 71,972. And using our 90% test, you can see that that's more than 90% of the fair value of the asset of 75,000. Therefore, this should be a finance lease. Now we're going to do a second example, new information. Notice that it's monthly payments rather than semi-annual payments. And again, we can just use this information to walk through the lease. First step, calculate the implicit rate. Again, we're adopting the TVM framework. The only difference here is notice that the first payment is due immediately. Therefore, you must set your calculator so that it understands you are making beginning of the period payments. If you're not sure how to do this, your user's manual should be able to show you. Or perhaps if you have a professor or instructor, you could ask them how to reset your calculator. In this case, the N is 60 because there are 60 monthly payments. 
from the less ors perspective, they're giving up the asset worth fifty thousand. They're receiving payments of one thousand dollars, and they assume that the asset's going to be worth seven thousand dollars when it's returned to them at the end of the lease. Therefore, the I slash Y or the implicit rate in the lease is 0.95%. That is a monthly discount rate. We take that information now and we calculate the present value of the minimum lease payments. Again, we're adopting the TVM framework. The N and I slash Y are unchanged. They're the same as our previous calculation. Of course, the payment sign switches because the lessee is making the payment rather than receiving the payment. And in this case, they have not guaranteed any residual value, so that FV becomes zero. When we calculate the present value, we get $46,027. And that $46,027 is more than 90% of $50,000, therefore this also is a finance lease.